Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erica. I love house plants and that's what I do on this channel. I share my house plant journey. Today I have a very cute and cozy video plan for you guys and I am going to be repotting some of my tiny plants and I think it's gonna be adorable so if you would like to see that happening let's just go ahead and start revamping these guys. So, like I just mentioned in the beginning, I am planning to repot some of my mini plants today. So, I have these six mini plants that I collected from my collection all around the house that I really feel like they could use some repotting, some updoing, and some of these plants I would just like to give a nice, cute pot so I would be more excited about them. I actually got this tiny planter and it is David's statue, of course, but it is so small. It doesn't look that small in the camera, but look it's really small like it's tiny so I thought that I'm gonna be potting up these <laughs> super cute pearls and actually these pearls were in my fairy garden that is no longer with us unfortunately And it's been standing on top of my shelf and it's not looking too great it's not doing much well actually now it's uh, producing some weird long growth you're gonna see that later on so I really feel like that's gonna look so good in this statue although it already kind of has hair but like whatever you know then the next plant I would like to repot today is actually my ZZ Zenzi and this is so tiny it's not really doing anything since I got it and I was so excited to have it and now I am not excited about it at all I thought I saw some bugs but no there's no bugs so yeah it's just standing in my bedroom and I would really like to give it some nice updo and be a bit more excited also see what's going on with those roots if there's any growth or anything because last time I checked was somewhere last year and it was just plain cuttings with a few roots going on so I want to see if there's any bulb development if there is any little growth coming or anything so yeah this baby is gonna get an updo then the next plant I would like to also put it in my own soil and give it my own pot and everything and just see the root system is my tiny peyote and this is a second peyote because my first peyote unfortunately died so I would like to give this baby a good home and it is quite squishy I don't think it's taking up that much water because I am checking it but it's quite thirsty so I do feel like I want to put it in a better pot then I also have this bear paw succulent and it is still in the same planter that I bought it in in the nursery planter and when I was preparing for this video and taking it from its spot it's standing just by the window this leaf just popped off which is so sad because I don't know why but if you look closely it has some red variegation it's got sun stressed so that's really cute but I would like to put it uh, in a nicer planter like I said so yeah we are going to do that as well then the fifth plant I will be potting up today is actually this cactus and I did know the name of it I'm gonna leave it on the screen so you will see but I got it from Tenerife from one of our good oh my god I also saw thought I saw another bug on this plant but no there isn't any anyways I got this baby plant from good friends and they went on vacation to Tenerife and they brought this baby cactus from there for me and it's a magnet so it's actually very nice to put it on my uh, shelf because it's metal so it just sticks there but I really do want to give this tiny baby a pot up because it really does need it and so the last plant I want to repot today I just got stopped by another cactus it's actually my tiny Hoya Bella <laughs> look at it it's so cute but lately it's just putting out these long tendrils and it's been doing that for the past few months and no leaves so I really think that it is time for this baby to be repotted it does have some roots coming out from the bottom so I am gonna be giving it a bigger pot a little bit of a bigger pot so that is my sixth plant and that's what I have for today so yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and start doing it and I'm gonna take you lower I'm gonna take you up close and we're just gonna get down into that root system of every single plant of these so yeah let's go 
So the plant I would like to start with today is actually this super cute variegated bear spa succulent and I did not do much with this succulent since I bought it and I bought it the end of summer I would say and it's just been standing in my window just in the nursery pot like I bought it so I think it is great time to upgrade this baby and yeah just give it some fresh soil see what's up and so these are the two leaves that dropped just recently so i am going to be placing them on top of soil because i actually would like to be potting it in this very shallow bowl but now i'm thinking if that's a good idea but actually you know what yeah for now i think it is it's gonna be nice and cute in here so yeah let's see what is up with the soil It's actually so cute. It has this kind of a wooden stem. So you can see it right here and it's actually quite hard and wooden and that's adorable. And I think it's just gonna be sitting in this pot right here and <laughs> look super cute. I don't know, I kind of want to do it so I'm just gonna do it. And once again, like always, I am using my Sea Botanica Cactus Succulent Mix and I repotted my cactus last time and use the soil for the first time and I am obsessed with the soil now. So I am very excited to be potting all of my succulents because most of the plants today are... Actually all of the plants today are like succulent and cacti, so that's really nice. I put just like a little bit because this is already pretty shallow bowl so I don't want to be putting too much at the bottom but let me actually think how I want it. Maybe a little at the back? Yeah, this is very cute. And actually it's done and it looks so cute here it is and I am so happy look at that it looks like the kitty is straight up just playing with a little leaf there oh it's so cute okay so our first plant is done it is so cute oh I'm so happy let me put it aside now and bring out the next plant I want to repot I'm trying to make this video quick today so yeah let's jump and do that Okay, so I brought the next two plants because I want to see what's up with the root system on this and then I will decide if I will put it in this planter or this planter and if I am gonna be ended up putting it in this one then this baby is gonna go here so actually I don't know why you brought this because oh because if I'm gonna put this one here then I'm probably putting this baby here because I actually really like this planter as well and I wish I had some two baby plants so I could put them side by side but this will have to do for now so okay let's do this one first and this is my peyote cactus and oh Actually, I took this here for a reason. <laughs> No, definitely not. Okay, so I don't want to be removing much more, so this is what it looks like. Oh, and actually... I'm sorry I went out of camera, but I was just trying to see what's up because I don't want to lose this bad boy and it seems like it was rotting, but the rot stopped already and it's actually growing new root. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but I will try. Oh yeah, you can. So right there, this white one, it's actually a new fresh root, so I am happy that I am gonna be repotting it, and it's actually <laughs> so small, so yeah, okay, let's, let's, um, ew, what the hell, did you see, I just pulled off a hair, what the hell, okay, that was disgusting, that was straight up a black hair. All right, so let's put this baby in its new pot. And it is definitely going here. <laughs> And 
you know what yeah I think I'm gonna be putting it here actually so Okay, you guys, I think this looks absolutely adorable and I cannot imagine a better combination and I am just <laughs> absolutely obsessed. So yeah, I am gonna keep it in here for a little bit. This cacti grows super slow, like cactus in general grow slow, but this one, oh my god, this one grows like twice as slow as a normal cactus. So I think I'm gonna be able to keep it in here for a little bit, but yeah, I am I'm so happy. This is so, so freaking cute. Okay, so yeah, this one is done and oh my god, again, I'm just freaking obsessed. So I am gonna be putting this one aside and grabbing our next baby. Okay, here she is. I'm so excited. I don't know what the hell is going on down there because I have never taken this out and this is basically how it looks like so it's really not that big it's like this is how deep my finger goes so it's really just like this deep and yeah it just fits my thumb so it's really really small <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be doing literally anything to this. I think I'm just gonna be plopping it in and I don't think I'm gonna be putting it in here. I think I think it's gonna just go here and live its happy new life in this new soil because yeah, honestly, it's a bit crazy on how small it's been living it. So I think it's gonna appreciate this new soil maybe a little deeper. Here we are. I mean, look at how freaking cute. Oh, I'm so happy it's in the new pot. I cannot wait for it to start growing and doing things. And I did put a little bit of, it's actually hydroponic volcano rocks, <laughs> but I did just place them around because I don't know. I just at the last minute decided and I had it right under my hand. So I was like, yeah, why not? And oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay, I'm super excited. So now that we have this done, we actually have three more plants, so let's move on and do it, yeah. Okay, so the next one I want to do is this ZZ Senzi, <laughs> it is so dusty, I will totally need to wash it off after I'm done filming, but yeah, I am gonna be putting it into this cup, it was my drinking cup, but it started getting chipped and I didn't want to use a chipped mug that much, so I decided to put plants in here. This held my baby banana plants before, but yeah, that banana plant no longer with us as well. So let's just straight away go into this thing here. Oh, I am happy with what I see. Okay, okay, okay. I do see some bulbs growing here. You can see them as well. Very potato, very nice, very here. <laughs> wow, much words, such word. Wow, okay, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I am gonna be putting it here and now actually I'm thinking, nah, I think it's gonna be fine. I mean, it's not that big of an upgrade from before, but I feel like this plant doesn't really need that much of an up pot. I feel like I just kind of wanted to give it a new home, so. That's what we're doing today. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this new nice soil here at the bottom for it. So it has where to like lower its roots into. Okay. 
I kind of like to also hold the plant when I'm banging it in like that because a lot of times when I'm doing it, shaking the pot, the plant is like rising because the soil is settling down and the plant is rising with the pot. So I do like to hold the pot in place while I'm banging it. And I just realized I actually did not put the microphone on. So one second. Okay, I did it now. I hope that the sound is gonna be good. So yeah, I am really sorry about that. It's actually only for this plant, by the way. The other plants had the microphone on. I just disconnected it before we potted this plant. Oh, this is so cute. I am so happy. Okay, so this looks very adorable. Let's see. Isn't this just so nice? It is still really dusty, but I love it. I am so happy I did this. And I think I'm gonna be placing this baby right now somewhere near here by the lights, like under the lights right here. Oh my God, my words today. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna be keeping it close by and I'm so happy it has those potato bulbs growing. So yeah, that one's done. Now let's move on to our next plant. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so fun. All right, and now we are gonna be working with this beautiful Hoya Bella. And this plant grew so much for me since I got it. I am so, so happy. Yeah, this is actually the first time I'm going to be up potting this plant. And let's just... I don't know how better to do this. Because it is like shaped as a pot. So inside it is curved. It is like a pot, so it was quite hard to take it out of here. But I just adore these planters. I made a hole to myself and oh, I'm just so, so happy I have them. But it is time for this baby grow. And it is gonna go here because it's actually not that big of an up pot, but I think I'm gonna take it for now. I think I'm also gonna be putting it in the succulent mix because it is quite a nice mix. Look at how adorable, oh, I am obsessed. I am in love with this plant. I am so happy I did this finally. And oh, I really hope that it's gonna be giving me some more leaves now. Maybe I should cut these off? What do you think? Actually, you know what? There are like at these spots on the nodes, there are these kind of, do you see this bump right here? That's not a root. Like the one up top is not a root. And I think the one below probably is. But I'm so obsessed and it was actually so much easier than I expected it to be. This is so freaking cute. I am so in love with this plant. Oh, okay. And now we can move on to the last plant, which is my little string of pearls. So, okay, let's do it. Okay, and our last plant. Here we have the pot and it actually does not have a drainage hole and I did not drill one because, yeah, I don't know. I just am lazy and the problem is that I do not have any nursery pot that would fit here and even if I would have it would have to be probably smaller than what's already in so I am gonna be potting it in this planter without a drainage hole straight. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna do it because yeah first of all this plant is actually it had mealybugs when the fairy garden died and I took on this plant and potted it here. It actually had mealybugs. That was not fun. So I just potted it here alone in hopes that it will just grow and it actually did but right now it's, I don't know, not doing the best. So we are gonna be trying to wine it or something but for now let's try to just take it out. So it has a super small root system. 
Oh no, actually it didn't. I just ripped it all off. Yeah, okay, so that's not fun. This is what we are left with. So no bueno, but actually why the hell did it get ripped so easily? Oh, it looks like maybe this plant was rotting or something. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What should I do now? Should I just pop it in there and try to see what happens? I don't know. Okay, so I came up with something. I straight up just cut off a top from this tiniest nursery pot that I had. It's actually the same pot that I just took out my peyote cactus from. And I just cut up this top and now it fits there. I'm not gonna put it in, but it fits. I also filled it up full of those hydroponic lava rocks. And once I'm gonna pot up the pearls here, I'm just gonna plop it in there and not move it for, I don't know, however long. So. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not what I expected it's gonna to look like, but I am happy anyways I did it. I, like you saw, I did round up a lot of the pearls just on the pot and dropped some soil on top, I don't know. We will see if that will help it root or branch more, but I'm also not too sad if this plant dies, so this is sort of a little experiment, we will see how it goes, and this looks so funky and weird and funny he is so mad and he has a terrible hair day but yeah here we are it's done okay you guys let's move on So that was it for today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it and had fun while watching me repot these tiny cute plants. Let me know in the comments which plant was your favorite and what do you think about today's video? Yeah, just in general, uh, again, I tried to do it as quick as possible so I did want to make a shorter video. I hope I succeeded. We will see when I will be editing but I'm very very happy that I did revamp these plants and I feel like they look so adorable and I'm just really happy. I can't wait to see how these plants will do later on in their new homes especially the string of pearls and actually all of them. Once again, if you like this video, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up and actually also subscribe to my channel because I do make a lot of planty content and I just love plants and I love everybody who loves plants with me, so yeah, I'm just babbling now. It's late, <laughs> I need to go to bed. Anyways, thank you so much for sticking up with me and watching this video once again. I think I said it a million times already, but yeah, thank you. And reporting all these plants and just touching my plants and, you know, being busy with plants kind of makes me wish I had more plants. Thank you so much and see you in the next one guys, love you!